What is up, everybody? Welcome to my first recording. Um, so I have heard a lot of things about Doki Doki Literature Club just recently. Um, I was told that it's, it's very scary. Um, but when I first started watching uh, Game Grumps play this, I was very confused because, like, it seems like a harmless game. Like, could be, like, relationship building and just a story-driven game. But apparently this is a psychological game and it even more so is by it saying, by playing this game, you agree that you are at least 13 and you can set up exposure of highly disturbing content. So I'm very interested. Like, I know a lot of people have played this game, apparently. It's been like three years since this game has first came out. But it's free on Steam. And I've never, I've never seen gameplay of this other than that first snippet of Game Grumps just recently. And I'm really curious because I was about to watch like a, basically a rundown of this game. And I was like, wait, I don't want to watch this. I want to actually play this. So it's going to be a reaction video. I'll just see how this goes. I agree. Definitely older. 13. It says that, yet it sounds so cute! I don't get it. I really don't get it. It sounds really cute. However, I am going to lower volume. Just because it seems a little loud. Okay. Well, I got all of that. Alright. I'm doing a new game. See an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to high school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Oh, she's so cute. Ah! <laughs> I overslept again! But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. <laughs> Hey, you say that. You were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Tay Tay. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making a daily compete. By the way, Tay Tay, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you want to join the club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of the many conversations where I dismissively go along to whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. That's funny because I did have a friend like that in high school. That she, She's very chatty and there'd be times where I'd literally just tone her out and just go like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Like, I mean well, but, and she means well, but it's just super chatty. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried about that you uh, won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a, a neat <laughs> a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. 
Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me that you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess. I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside her head. Oh, I have to be careful. I just got vaccinated yesterday, and my arm is still very sore. <laughs> Sometimes I forget that, though, when I'm doing things. The school day is ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must come into the classroom while I was facing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and facing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. <laughs> you don't need to wait up for me. It's, it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement. So I thought, you know. Know what? Well that you'd come join my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. <laughs> Goodness. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure that she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one uh, who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to be... I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, kind of told the club yesterday I would bring a new member. And Nasuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. Can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead. Or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! Yeah, who who can't turn down a cupcake? I want a cupcake. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. That's beautiful. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone! The new member is here! Member? Member! Sorry. <laughs> I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? Glance around the room. Girl 1. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. I need to come up with different kind of voices, but... I'm not, like, good at that. Girl, too. Seriously, you brought a boy? Oh, I'm a boy! Oops. <laughs> um, I can't sound like a boy. Wait to kill the atmosphere. Oh, girl, three. Ah, Tay-Tay, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. I mean, guys can be named Tay-Tay. But I definitely don't sound like a guy. And I'm not gonna even try to do that. <laughs> um, all words escape me from the situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. They are cute, especially the purple hair. She looks adorable. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S -s Sorry. Nasuki. Hmm. Well, that's her name, Nasuki. That's the cupcake girl. You look like a cupcake girl. Not profiling, but you just, you know, you look like a cupcake girl. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Nasuki, is one I don't recognize. 
Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. <laughs> That's very okay. She is also the one who made cupcakes according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into me. Oh, sorry. Then turns back toward the other girls. Anyway, this is Nasuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid. Timid. Seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Nasuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Tay Tay. <laughs> Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. <laughs> I can be a girl too, come on. So having her smile at me is so genuinely feels a little... You, you, you too, Monica. You too. Come sit down, Tay Tay. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Good. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? Oh please, I love tea. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Nasuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Nasuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Nasuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Yo! Suki lifts the foil off the tray and reveals dozen, a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Why am I not surprised? It's always cats with anime. Not trying to be like that, but it's always cats in anime. Okay. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. That sounds adorable. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Nasuki. <laughs> well, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm making her a valley girl. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayori walks with her mouth full and has already managed- Oh, talks, sorry. Talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I'm not surprised about that either. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking at the best angle to take a bite. Which, if this was actually me, you know, and I'm a girl, I love making the cupcake to where, like, you cut it in half and put the bottom on top and it's like a cupcake sandwich. That's my favorite thing to do with cupcakes. And that's how everyone should eat it, in my opinion. Like a sandwich. It's amazing. Nasuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Nasuki. What? You're thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them or made them for you or anything. Uh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said, Well, maybe. <laughs> but not for y you know, you, dummy. <laughs> alright, alright. I give up on Nasuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri turns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. Gosh, tea and cupcakes. Sounds like paradise. And you know, being surrounded by very pretty women. Although, I can't say women, because this is apparently school before college. Why am I playing this? <laughs> you keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. 
After all, doesn't a hot t cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? That's very true. Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that, that's not... Insulted Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know... I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. That is not true for me, but I will continue this. <laughs> I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decide to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Oh, well, you know... To be honest, I can't stand of all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica is really a great leader. Later. Later. Sorry. <laughs> Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised that there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. But it grabs my attention. I always wanted to do a book club. <laughs> you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident that we can really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. So, like, so far, these girls seem pretty normal. Like, we have the typical valley girl, the very smart, sweet one, the very dumb sweet one and then seems like the normal one who's nice and smart but i don't know i don't see the horror in here i don't know such different girls all interested in the same goal monica must have worked really hard just to find these three maybe that's why they are all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. I can. So, Tay Tay, what kinds of things do you like to read? Uh, well, uh, horror, ghost, adventure, romance. Can I keep going? <laughs> Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. This is so hard, though, because I, I like being. Like, when I play a character of a game, I like trying to connect to the character I'm playing. But so far, it's really hard to connect to this person because I'm so opposite. In high school, I had a pile of books that I would read at a time. I literally had the Aragon series in one hand, and then The Hobbit, and then some other, like, uh, spooky ones. Like, I had Misery from Stephen King. Like... And I had some ghost stories, like I had so much at once and it's a, it was to the point by my sophomore year, I didn't have to keep doing AR reading tests because I did them all f up for my senior year. I was just reading consistently. It's really hard to connect with these. Mm. It's okay though. I got this. Manga. I haven't read manga yet. No, that's a lie. I've read uh, A Legend of Zelda manga. I'll create in time. You guys are probably bored with me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. This person is an anime uh, person too, and I just started a few animes. So 
yeah, I can't connect. Nasuki's head suddenly perks up. I kind of thought she would be an anime person. Mm -hmm. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Yeah, I like Yuri. Yuri's cute. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Yes. Yes. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Yes. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Exactly. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. I love this. She seemed to reserve the timid sense. I don't know what I'm saying. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. I, I miss having friends like that. Just kidding, I have friends like that. We just don't talk about books that much. <laughs> but you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well, and I feel like this is supposed to do this to me. But so far, I'm getting cute music, cute women, and just cuteness all around. I'm not getting the scary stuff. Is it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Uh-huh. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Yes. Ah, I read a horror book once. Under times for me. I just really grasped something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with the rock. <laughs> really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you? I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or it takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Nasuki's eyes dart over me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Nasuki? What? <laughs> what gives you that idea? Left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. Looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud and give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is as cute as you are. And you're short. Uh, Sayori's siddle, siddle? Am I having a stroke? Is it slides or... I don't know what that word is. I'm just gonna say slides. Sayori slides up behind Nasuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! <laughs> I've said that a lot in my life. <laughs> Nasuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Nasuki averts her eyes. You mean my eyes? I don't know. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Nasuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. I agree. And just a side note here, for those of you who are always like, why don't you just share your writings with the world if you love doing it, you know, to people who actually love to write poems, like me. I'm just gonna say, it's like sharing a picture of you naked. That's how much, yeah. It's exactly like that. Like, you are spilling your heart out in writing. And you just want to keep it to yourself. You don't want the whole world to see you. That's exactly how I can put it. 
And if you don't understand what I'm saying, then you don't have that type of that that type of I'm not gonna say knowledge really. It's just of who you are. Like it's really hard to explain. I'm just gonna say writing your heart out is very hard to share to anybody. To anybody. <laughs> The truest form of writing is writing to oneself, exactly. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities. That's the word I was looking for. Thank you, Yuri. I can vibe with this girl. And showing even the deepest reaches of your heart, exactly. That's, that, that's what I was trying to say. Thank you. <sighs> Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Nasuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. Yeah, it's the same for everybody. Aw, uh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Huh? Oh, we're gonna call her Nat and Yuri. Cute. Nasuki and Yuri looks qui quizzically. Yeah. I'm not the best reading out loud person. <laughs> I'm Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Oh, geez. The next time we meet, we'll all share them and with each other. That way, everyone is even. No, because you guys known each other longer than I've known you. That's not fair. Uh, um... Uh, yeah, let's do it! <laughs> Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Tay-Tay? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's still one problem. Huh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori might have convinced me to stop by, but I never made a decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Dejected eyes. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> Tay Tay! Y you all... I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? This is the typical anime style, like their eyes look back at me and I can't say no. <laughs> that is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. See what I mean? See what I mean? These guys in these stories will do anything to be with beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Again, why can't I be a girl? <laughs> one by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. <laughs> hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just come came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Tay Tay, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Nasuki clean up their food. Hey Tay Tay, since we're already up here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye on this one. 
so far I'm just getting the cute vibes. But until next time, peace out. Love you guys. See ya.